Hi there, it's Roseanne here from Country Chic Paint. If you've ever tried to paint spindles on pieces like chair backs, you'll know how time consuming and frustrating it can be. I have some fantastic tips to help you get it done in a fraction of the time with very little effort. Keep watching to learn how. For this video, I'm going to be using some of our all-in-one decor paint in the color Cheesecake, a small paintbrush and this painting sponge. It can be very tedious to use a paintbrush in and around spindles, but applying paint using a sponge will make things so much easier. First, I'm going to shake and stir my paint to make sure all the ingredients are well mixed. Now I'm going to pour some paint on this plate to make it easier to dip the sponge into the paint. I'm simply going to dip the edge of my sponge into the paint. You don't want to put very much on your sponge as it will spread quite far. And we're going for thin rather than thick paint coats here. As you can see, you can push the sponge in between the spindles much more easily than a brush and you'll be able to cover more ground in a shorter period of time. For any areas that you can't get into with your sponge, use a small paintbrush instead. You'll notice that the sponge applies the paint in very thin layers. If you feel like you're not getting very good coverage, don't worry, that's a good thing. You'll likely find that you can still get seamless coverage out of just two quick coats and applying paint thinly will give you much better adhesion. I'm now going to let the first coat dry and then we'll come back to apply the second coat. In the meantime, I've applied a second coat of paint to my chair, just a thin coat. You can see that it's not perfectly covered, but I'm going to go for a very shabby chic look. I'm going to distress it with a fine grit sandpaper. You want to make sure you do that after your second coat is completely dry. If you're going for a more modern finish and you don't want to distress it, then you probably want to give it at least another thin coat to give it opaque coverage. So here's our finished shabby chic chair with beautifully painted spindles in a fraction of the time. If you're curious to learn more about why painting in thick coats can be bad for your piece, stay tuned for our upcoming video in just a couple of weeks. Subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss it. If you liked this video, please leave us a comment and click the like button. To find out more about our products and where you can buy them, click the website link on your screen now or in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting!